God brings us out of the miry pit. Psalm 40, verses 1, 2, and 3. I waited patiently for the Lord, and He inclined it to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth, praise to our God. Many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. A powerful psalm that describes to us this, the delivering work of God. The psalmist indicates his situation, his difficulty. He finds himself in what he calls a horrible pit. So the picture here is a pit that's way down on the ground. Uh, and then at the bottom there is a miry clay. It's damp and dirty. And his feet is in all of that. And he says, in that situation, I look to God. And I waited patiently for God. And here's what God did. He brought me out of the miry pit, out of this horrible pit, out of this miry clay. And he put my feet on solid rock and he made my steps firm and he put a new song in my mouth that means he caused me to sing uh, his praise once again and he gave me a new song something that i could praise him for something that i could declare his greatness in a new song in my mouth praise to god and many see it and they put their trust in god you know in in life as we go through circumstances and situations like we've been considering this week, there could be times when we find ourselves down and we fall. We are down in a horrible pit, whether it's a pit of financial problems, a pit of uh, situations, whatever might be the circumstance and you find yourself in that horrible pit. What do you do? We want to encourage you, we want you to know you can come back strong when you're down there at the bottom of the pit, you begin to declare, you begin to announce, you begin to boldly say that God brings me out of this horrible pit. God sets my feet on solid ground. God will put a new song in my mouth and people are going to see it and they're going to give praise to God. If you start declaring it, you start saying that this is what God will do for me. And you're saying it because God indeed will do it for you. As you begin to declare that, you know what? God's working. God begins to work in your life, your circumstances. And you and I may not figure out how He's going to do it, but you will find yourself one day standing on that solid ground. You'll find yourself out of that horrible pit. You'll find yourself in a place of great blessing. If you're down in a horrible pit of financial debt, God can bring you to a place where debt is no more and you're in a place of abundance and you're more than enough. If you're finding yourself in a place where because of your business, you're in a horrible pit, God can bring you out of that, put you in a place where you will thrive and flourish once again in business. God will do it for you. And I believe that it will start now. Let's pray together because he's given us his word. Let's pray. Lord God, I thank you that no matter what has happened, no matter where, what we have fallen into God, we can come back strong. And you can bring us up out of the horrible pit and put our feet on solid ground. I pray, Father, if there's anyone who's listening, who, who needs that work to take place in their lives, right now, Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit, release a delivering work in their lives and cause them to come out of the horrible pit and put their feet on solid ground. Give them a new song let all praise arise to you alone. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.